What's up? What's up? What's up? Just smell so good, nation. I'm your host, Roosevelt. Man, look, some of y'all are reaching the age <clears throat> for retirement. You know, 47, 57, 50s, and maybe earlier. And you're wondering, what can you do? Now, you know I'm in the fragrance and health and wellness business. Well, you can create a side income or full-time income or more. But most cases, a full-time income. Now, look, I am in the business of creating cash flow. That means a business that has money coming in on a regular basis. And since I'm in the health and wellness business that helps your body heal, dealing with organic vitamins, that is a business that will help you create an uh, income and you have to grow it with hard work. Now, many times that we want instant gratification without using the products or services that we are selling. I use both. I use the fragrances and I use the vitamins and I use all the nutritional things that keeps my body healthy. <clears throat> just recently, I just was out of town. Uh, I had a fun day, a fun time with one of my buddies in South Carolina. He got married. Oh man, wonderful time. Wonderful time. Congratulations to him and his wife. I mean, it was a wonderful marriage, and man, they, we had a good time, and uh, we, we just had a wonderful time. Now, some food for thought for the ones who looking to get in the business or should get in the business while they have a job or getting ready to retire, and this is some of the information did you know? Did you know 34 million Americans live in poverty? 34 million Americans live in poverty and it's happening each and every day. And poverty is happening more often than less than 34 million because of, of our recession right now, because high rents, high fuel costs, and even though jobs are hiring, they hired at a part-time rate to a lot of part-time jobs to add up to one full income. Now, one of 10, one in the 10, about 700 million worldwide live less on $2 per day. Now that's not in our country, but if it continues, it's gonna be in our country. Did you know 10 children die every minute due to mostly to preventable causes? Now, there are more children die. I remember we was in poverty. Me and my family, my sisters and brothers, we was very, very poor. Very, very, very poor. Now, was that some of the fault from the economical system? No. It was just uh, family mom, dad, not being responsible. They was in their own world. And plus, what's happening in 1975, that even, even escalated even further. Now, 785 million people lack access to clean and safe drinking water here in America. I went to South Carolina where there are a lot of rural areas and it's a lot of rural areas here in Jacksonville, Florida. And some of the people are having the same situation. What's going on? Today they're having it. Let's go to the next one. Did you know even today there are 781 million adults unable to read and write? In 1960 something, before 1969, 
during before we start shipping uh, jobs overseas, it was more uneducated Americans who had great VIP jobs who didn't know how to read and write were making a lot of money without education. But when we start shipping to other countries, our jobs, our manufacturers, and so forth, then we had to go get a education from college, from um, a, a different trades. Trades used to be, hey, you used to be a journeyman. You didn't have to pay for a trade. You just worked on a person, job, and became a journeyman, a, carp a carpenter, a plumber. But now you have to go to plumbing school. You got to go to electrician school. You have to go all those to become a licensed person who makes money. And that takes education. Now, when technology, since technology is moving more faster than ever before, a lot of people are not, who don't know how to read, do not know how to write, are not making it in America. And how do you solve that problem in America? You must understand that you got to learn how to read. You got to speak, try to speak another language. And then you have to start a business, a business. Okay. Ending world hunger by 230 will require $265 billion per year in additional resources, which America do not have. Americans do not have $265 billion because we loaned money to all other countries and we paid $375 billion in interest back to other countries that we own. Now the $378 billion is twice as much or three times that much that we paying back other countries from the debt that we borrow from them. Now you may be looking what can I do to solve some of my issues right now? My always full conclusion is start a business. Now, we have a vitamin business. We have a fragrance business that brings in tremendous cash flow. But the vitamin business is much more larger scale than that. We in five different countries and growing. Five different countries and growing. And here's why the vitamin business will, what's up, Neo? Help your body nuclear system. It will help the blood system. It will help with hair. It will help with the vigor. It will help with your lifestyle changes. It will just help you overall. It's something to think about. To start a business is very, very inexpensive. It only costs you a hundred to seventy five dollars and you have to be a total committed person to continue your business. Now many times I come over here I'm just speak about how well the bottom of business has been doing me. Teeth, skin, hair. When I get sick, I get well faster. Look, man, this it's real out here. COVID is real out here. Now, I'm going to read something real quick for you. Whether you're rich or poor, up to where you live and how you think, is how you think. Hopefully even a poor person, you, as you think you are now, you may be richer than billions of people in the world. You can still save a spare few bucks to help the many people out there who are much less fortunate than you. Now, if you get well and you feeling better and you looking better, you can spare to help somebody else. But if you don't feel better, you don't look better, you don't feel like your strength and your vigor is up, you can't help nobody. What we're gonna to try to do is try to change this for you. Start a business. I don't care if you start a vitamin business or not. If you start in the fragrance business or not, you need to start a business. And how do you get healthy? 
taking organic vitamins. I know I'm all over the place speaking about how to make money and what our government system and how many people are poor right now, but you don't have to be one of them. You have to be the one who make the change in your life today. The one who make and create an income that helps others and help yourself. And a lot of you are waiting for someone else to do it. You're looking for an angel. Well, the angel is now. This is your angel. This is your opportunity. There's a lot of sick people out here who are taking drugs that they do not want to take each and every day. High blood pressure. Um, they got gout. They have uh, uh, sexual disorder. You know, they, a lot of stuff. Now, what are our vitamins? Our vitamins is all plant-based. That's what makes them organic. Plant-based organic vitamins. That makes them organic. Nothing more. Straight from the earth. Straight from the earth. That goes straight into you. Now you can go around in the forest. You can pick up herbs that you don't know. You can pick up mushrooms that might make you delusional. You can pick up all kind of stuff if you don't if you don't know anything about it and you don't know how to make it work for you, guess what? It could be not useful for you or you could be dead from them. Or you can go straight and learn and take organic vitamins. Hey, I'm here to help you. Down, it's going to be a link down below. Uh, later on, you can uh, go in the capture page, the Just Smells So Good capture page. Leave your telephone number, your name, telephone number, information. I see your information so you can watch a short video and get started today. Welcome to the Just Smells So Good Nation. Peace.